I am reading a book or excerpts from a book and the book is called A Call at Dawn. It was written by Kelvin Rowe and it is a message from our brothers and sisters from the planets Pluto and Jupiter. The following are excerpts from Kelvin's book about the advice given to us by those space brothers he met, both men and women, from other worlds who visited him in his home and at other various places, and with whom he traveled aboard their spacecraft. They taught him much and emphasized that we are to know our own selves and learn the laws of nature. There are 33 of them. I'm skipping around in his book, taking up the most interesting and informative parts. Anyone interested may contact me and I can send to them a file that is this book. I take up at a place in this book where Kelvin has asked if he might board one of their ships. Since many people today would love to do this as well, I thought it interesting to read what they said to him regarding this. And these are his words. I have learned that you merit such a privilege as a contact. All that we receive comes to us through an immutable process of divine law. We bring into our lives the fruits of our actions and thoughts. We earn the right by becoming worthy of each honor bestowed upon us. Nothing is handed out to us on a silver platter. We must make an effort. Then we will be rewarded accordingly. If man had been given all things without effort on his part, he should have been robbed of the whip of necessity and would have stagnated rather than developed to the position where he now stands. It is now time. There are secrets as much more powerful than the atom bomb as the atom bomb is more powerful than a firecracker. For that reason, the secrets, the eternal truths, have been preserved and well guarded down through the ages by certain custodians of the mysteries. It is now time that this ancient wisdom be brought forth into the open for dissemination. The mysteries will no longer be concealed from anyone who seeks. The great truths will no longer be hidden by dark and concealing parables. Those who will to understand will be clearly given the laws under which man lives and has his being. For too long, most of us have just accepted what we are told to believe, accepting too much without investigation. After all, so much conflicting information has been made available, so many half-truths and faulty premises, that it behooves us to study and learn the truth instead of allowing ourselves to be lulled to sleep or to be deceived and inveigled by those who make mysteries and millions and achieve self-gratification out of possibilities borrowed from the truth. This belief and criticism and constant denials have kept the facts of interplanetarians from the public, causing confusion and making way for falsifications and impostors who have misled many. Let desire be our keynote to the finding out of truth. There are a variety of truth seekers, those who are just beginning to realize that churchianity is stalemated and to question cultural traditions and old established dogmas, creeds, and theories. into cosmic light into cosmic light our brothers professed that the creator in his infinite wisdom condemns not any part of his creation yet people of earth make a sad mistake they are the ones who judge others 
with greater understanding they would cease to judge they would only analyze others and not condemn them for their shortcomings for each and every one is learning his lessons in the school of life through experiences and mistakes everyone should learn to live in the ever present not yesterday or tomorrow they have only today the past does not matter except to correct the mistakes made and remedy the now so that they will not be repeated live from there and the future will always be I wish to emphasize their statement we do not find fault to degrade the people of your planet but all are reverenced for the divine life within nor in his great wisdom is it the creator's wishes to cause harm we must speak truth through understanding and compassion peace will come to your world did you ever perceive that in judging another you might be judging yourself Jesus said I judge no man if he did not judge who are we that we do so we should forgive and forget the wrongdoings of another and look to find their good qualities by so doing we not only uplift the weaker ones but ourselves and the whole cosmos the accumulation of all the negative causes which man has set up in the past must be met at the close of every age this slate must be wiped clean as we enter the new cycle and we are finding it difficult to meet the rapid inflow of changes from these effects we have created change is the trend of the times and the keynote is a knowledge of the Christ within the disheartening thing is as our brothers concede as time goes on the people of the planet earth do little to help themselves or their conditions there is no excuse for them to be in the condition that they are in at this time if they would seek the truth they would find it but in their indifference they haven't time to search for truth if they were not so self-centered and foolish they would have done something long ago about the things going on in the world they should be taking delight in fulfilling the duties of reciprocal love and brotherhood instead of being so completely busy enjoying the misfortunes of their brothers the average American is utterly unconcerned as long as he can have a TV set and a new automobile there are too many people in the world who live only for the moment accepting things that are placed before them not attempting to find the way of anything and allowing themselves to be led continually into destruction by those not caring by what means they attain their power men fear enslavement being blindly unaware that they are already enslaved they are just drifting along the stream of life instead of charting a course content to live as they are when there is much room for improvement for everyone has it in him to become far more than he is they must be shaken from their outlook and made to realize that in tomorrow the purpose of their existence today will be fulfilled the proud head of man who has conquered most everything but himself must be bowed and he must again learn to turn to the Creator to lead him in the ways of light truth and righteousness man has yet to learn the great lesson of brotherly state and the love of the creator who put them here man has dared trifle with god's laws and his creation rather than fulfill his purpose in service working with him as one if man had learned the laws of the creator and lived in harmony with them he would have been so rewarded and justice would now reign throughout our land instead man will now need to be strong enough to meet the consequences of his own thoughts and actions since the things he has done will be returned one hundred fold be sure to listen to part two